the most games, the best-selling games, like Hubert, Enduro, Burger Time. In Television 2 has the most going for it. More games than Atari and Coleco. Over 430 games. Get in Television 2. It's got the most going for it. Hey everybody, happy Friday. Ah, uh, we're back. Uh, we're gonna play some video games. Won't that be fun? Um, it's novel. It's interesting. It's a bold idea. But, uh, I think, uh, I think you guys can handle it. I think I can handle it. Um, real quick, if you're not familiar with what we're doing, playing hour-long chunks of old forgotten video games for editing later into a long-form series. Uh, this is just raw gameplay. Me chatting about the games. Uh, let's get over to the Switch. Here we go. And here we are with uh, Taito Milestones. Let's go ahead and fire that up. So, so far we have done Alpine Ski and we have done Space Seeker. Hell of a game. Fascinating, interesting game. Uh, today we are going to play some Frontline. And I need to look at this because Frontline had a very specific control scheme. I'm vaguely familiar with this game. I remember we had it at our local showbiz pizza place. Um, I didn't play it a lot, but I was familiar enough with it to where I remember the control scheme, which was basically you had a joystick and a fire button, but you also had a metal knob that would let you aim in one of eight directions. And I also think you could push down on the metal knob and that would throw your grenades. So it looks like from these controls, um, the right stick is going to act as that knob. Uh, right button, left button shoots, left trigger grenades, right button fire. Okay, I think I got this. Let's get into it. And let's also, let's also make this look better. There we go. Okay. Coins. Nine is all these Taito machines will take. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so... Well, this is much easier, easier with the stick than it was with that knob. Oh shit, a boulder. But, uh... So now this kind of becomes like a twin-stick shooter. I, this is almost easier. Oops. <laughs> it is easier. Let me see. Does that... Yep, those are... Those are mines. Just needed to confirm that was a mine. <laughs> you walk in just the... Goofiest way. Like... <laughs> I don't know if this was meant to be a serious war game, but you walk like a goof. Um, okay, just getting my sea legs here. My, my frontline sea legs. Alright. Goofy, charming little sound when you walk. When you stop, it doesn't make that noise. Got your head on a swivel. That's good. It's war, you know. I'm just gonna start throwing grenades. There. Suck on that. Hmm. 
this is tough. I mean, you know, there's a lot to focus on here. Um. Seems like maybe your bullets go a little further than theirs do. I might be making that up. Okay, guys. Jesus. Alright, so this right stick to aim thing... It doesn't work like you think it would. Uh, for a twin stick shooter, it's a little different because you still only have the eight directions. Um, it takes a little getting used to. But I would say it's probably way easier than playing it in the arcade. Probably. Saw that coming. I walked right into that. I have no memory of how this game is structured. I... I don't know if there's like... I don't know if it's just this for the whole time. I don't know if there's a boss. I... I don't know. The... the metal knob was really the only thing I remember. Um, getting shot in the helmet. Your mobility is not great. Um, you kind of move around like an idiot, so... Oh, there's some dudes up there. I saw their feet. I believe I shot that grenade. This is a pretty silly war, if you, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, right, okay, so there's... Yes. All right. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. There's tanks. <laughs> I remember that now. Um, this, this is like a very early Akari Warriors. Um, about the tanks. Okay, so the tanks are the same. Um... You use the the right stick to aim. You know, just like just like if it was that big metal knob. I'm just gonna keep saying big metal knob. All right. So now, okay. Now that I now that I remember the tanks. I think, I think there's probably a boss at the end of this. If I, yeah, I think I am remembering that now. I think there's like some dude in like a, a bunker or something. But, so, this game came out in 82. Um... We did not get a showbiz pizza until, I want to say, like, 84? So, they had a section of games that were older. Um, that were not the, the newest, latest releases. And obviously, this was one of those. Uh, it was a row of machines right by the front door. I don't know why I remember that specifically, but there was, there was a row of older machines. Like, you'd walk in the door and turn to your right, and there was this row of, like, Donkey Kong and Frontline, you know, uh, that kind of thing. If you wanted to pay dra play Dragon's Lair, you had to go into the arcade. If you wanted to go in the ball pit, you have to go in the arcade, but if you, you want to play Frontline, you just walk in the front door, play some Frontline. Get your tokens. Uh, 
And that's that's really my only memory of Frontline is that sh it was at Showbiz. Big metal knob. <laughs> Get in that tank. Get away. I blew it. I blew it. I didn't get in the tank. I'll try to get in the tank again. Suck it. I don't think I should have to contend with boulders. Basic training did not prepare me for my boulders. Stop paying attention. Not paying attention. You have unlimited ammo. You appear to have unlimited grenades. Now the unfair thing is that as soon as you get a tank, man, all these other tanks show up. And I, you know, to call it a tank, eh... <laughs> More like you're in a turret that just moves. Oh, but now this is unfair. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. That is that is absolutely unfair that they throw you into the tank battle with, when you're just a dude. I guess that's when you're supposed to just lob grenades at them, but still, jeez. Not fair. I will say, I think the footstep sound gets really annoying really quickly. <laughs> but you know, this was obviously like before games like Commando. There's no power-ups or anything. It's not like you get better guns or life. <laughs> doing real bad. Not doing good. I think the goal of this of this hour will be to see if there's a boss. <laughs> Stay in a tank long enough to see if there's a boss. And then shoot the boss with the tank. <laughs> Where's hell, everybody? It also never changes, but whatever. Imagine how meticulous you have to be with your hand on this metal knob, rotating it around. Like, I can instantly go up and down here with the stick if I needed to. It's obviously not doing me any good, but uh, <laughs> if I was a pro player, um, you know, I would say anyone getting a score on any of these against someone on an arcade machine is not a fair comparison. Uh, I mean, and it had heft. It was a it was a heavy knob that really clicked. I mean, clicks hard. Had had a good feel to it. It was like real chunky. Like you knew exactly where your 
you were pointing, that's for sure. Um, maybe that helped a little. Tank time! Ha! Now they all go get their fucking tanks. It's like, oh, you have a tank? Well, guess what? <laughs> Sidearming grenades would be. I'm real good about not stepping on the landmines. You gotta give me that. You should get points for that. And as I recall later, this game came out for everything. Like, there were a million home versions of this. This, I mean, obviously was a quite popular game. Uh, although, I would be interested at this point in retrospect to learn why. Like, to really, like, you know, what, what, was, the, what was the thing that was... that made this game a hit? It's unlike a lot of games at this at the this point in time. Uh, and again, you know, big metal knob. You want to interact with the with the thing differently than anything else? By all means, big metal knob. Whoa! I didn't know I could get out. Get out! <laughs> okay. Layout is different every time. I mean, it takes the same amount of time to get to the tank, and then the tank area looks pretty much the same. But, like, the starting point is a little different. Yeah, not a fan of the way this sounds. It's real, like, screechy. You know, the footsteps are a little annoying, and then all that noise is just... Yeah. A little grating. Luckily, you get to hear my delicious voice on top of the, the awful metal grating sound. Okay, so it looks like you get 100 points per dude. I'll have to check and see if I get points for shooting grenades out of the sky. If I can stop dying, I seem to be getting aggressively worse. <laughs> Older. Run. <laughs> Good thing about home games is that you can just keep going. Already at this point, this is probably more money than I've ever spent on Frontline. I'm pretty sure I had this on cartridge for something, probably the ColecoVision. But it played way differently than this. Um, and I don't remember how the shooting mechanic would have worked at all. Unless it was just you shoot in whatever direction you're pointing. <laughs> I 
chat. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could be smart and just kind of, you know, be careful. Where's the fun in that? I mean, I suppose it's smart, you know, in war. Enough, enough goofing around. Time to frontline pro it up. Okay, next next game. Time to frontline it up. We'll do better and make sure that your pet does not have laser ticks. <laughs> I believe Frontline is the name of a drug that, or, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, uh, you give to your pets and then they don't have fleas. I think I'm right. <laughs> if I remember my pet ownership history correctly. beverage. Okay. All right. Here we go. Got this. So you don't get more points for grenading a dude, it's just you kill a dude, it's 100 points. No matter how you do it. Whatever it takes. Honestly, you can kind of inch up the screen and you will see like feet. And then you can probably get some shots off before... You know. Before they come down. Jesus. Oh, goddamn battalion. I'm just gonna say it, I'm bad at frontline. I'm I'm not good at this game at all. It's probably more of a patience thing than anything, but sound really goes a long way to not necessarily make you want to play this. I... curve on those, uh, a weird curve on those hand grenades.
I think this doesn't control well with the with the modern controller, like with the with the joypad. Yeah, I think it's. I think it needs a like a real stick. And I'm not blaming the controller for my poor performance because, you know, God knows I could be doing better. I was just patient and not dicking around. Hopefully you're not tuning in for high level play. <laughs> you're just wanting to check out these games. Alright, fine. 100% speed run. Here we go. Mackie asked for it in the chat, so, uh. We're gonna do a perfect run. Not this, not this quarter, but the next quarter. <laughs> so far, already off to a bad start. Such an idiot. Like, you're just goofy looking. Nope. Nope. So, my first goal was to get to the boss. Now, my goal is just to get back to the tank. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe just get past the uh, default high score. my tank. Thank you. Die. Oh, there's space over here. Oh, Jesus. Who can I get? I can get the bigger tank. Get out of my way. Yeah. Shit. Oh, I got out. <laughs> get back in the tank. Good lord. Okay, now I have a better goal to shoot for, which is the big tank. I didn't know you got a big tank. I just thought you had a little, little tank. Alright, here. Uh. This would be me in war, running around like an idiot while a rock is chasing me to my death. Alright, here we go. This is the run. This is it. Big tank run. Coming. Yeah. Killed your buddy. What are you gonna do about that? Kill me in, 
in return. I get it. I would probably do the same. minutes in. Got another 30 minutes to get better. Maybe see level 2. If you could use like the the Arkanoid, I know they make like a USB knob. Although that's really more of a rotation than a like an eight-way directional thing like this game had. I just wonder if there's any way to recreate that without you know cannibalizing a, an actual frontline cabinet. Food for thought, as the kids say. This is it. Sorry, dying again. Oh no. Sh sure. Okay, I created a save point. So, I can come back to this point. Kick ass. Oh. 
Okay. This is difficult. It's very twitchy. I think they send the rock after you if you just linger too long. <laughs> They're like, you can't just stay here and shoot dudes. You now must contend with the boulder. Officially, just absolutely suck at at frontline. I'm. This is not a game that I'm. I can ever see myself getting better at. It just <clears throat> something about it does not click in my brain to where I can be patient and or get good. Like this one game so far, not happening. You get focused on the boulder, and then, uh, you get shot. <laughs> that, that, that's a famous saying, right? Not a huge fan of Frontline. Just gonna go ahead and say that right now. Not necessarily the game's fault, it's partially me. But, you know, I mean, some games just do not click with you. Some games are just like, I can't, what this game is asking me to do, I can't seem to figure that out. And that's fine, you don't have to be good at everything. I mean, I kick your ass in 900 other games, but you know, you wanna you wanna play a frontline tournament. Guess what? You're gonna win. I can guarantee you that right now. See, that's you just the boulder directly targets you, and that's not fair. tank so I can get to my big tank fuck you fuck you get out hurry no 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 I have to get to my tank get away from me no ah shit <laughs> all right well unfair. They can't do this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to load this up one more time with credits, and then that's going to be the end of it. I'm going to call it no matter how long this takes. I'm just, I'm just not good. Not good at frontline.
I'm okay with that. I'm okay with just not being a frontline expert. <laughs> your tank. Oh shit. <laughs> Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. <laughs> My just go strategy did not work out. Strategically, I was doing better than I had ever done before. Strategically. completely fair thing about this game is that the bullet range for both you and the bad guys is the same. So you have to be within range of getting shot to shoot them and vice versa. Some would say that's unfair. Uh, I guess that's just... I can't necessarily complain about that. I'm sure Call of Duty works on the same principle. Really? Just... Oh, so if you just get run over by a tank, you die? That's not very realistic. <laughs> Go. 
Did see a new tank opportunity, so here we go. All right, desert tank. See another tank up here. Oh my god. Doing it, you guys. The, uh, the ground we are currently on is very slippery. It's very slip and slidey. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I was so far. I got so far. Okay, we've seen a little bit more of the game. That's neat. I'm sure there's a lot more. <laughs> we got to see more of the first level. That's exciting. fire for some reason. Odd. My trigger's not working. All of a sudden, this trigger... There. Okay. Once you get to Tank World, man, it gets... It, it. <laughs> Unforgiving. I've just regressed. I've regressed to just being awful again. Freaking death. I. You gotta be kidding. tank. Uh. No! <laughs> Shot me in the foot. Shot me in the foot. <laughs> yep. Oh, 
I don't like it. And I don't like it because I'm not good at it. That's exactly why I don't like it. And I think that's fair. That's a fair assessment. I'm bad at this game, therefore I do not like it. I'm so angry. How long do I get to stay in the big tank? One shot. <sighs> now I just have to run. I just have to run. It's just unfair. I don't even know why you're wearing a helmet. The helmet doesn't do anything. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. I lasted longer than I've ever lasted. <laughs> no, get back in the tank. <laughs> Was the game taking pity on me now? What the hell's going on? Cheap tank. Get in there. Get out. <laughs> cool. Another tank. Go. Just go. Get to a boss if there is one. Get out. Go. Cross the bridge. Alright, what do we got over here? <laughs> death. We got death over here. Come check it out.
go to hell. <laughs> Man, that's bullshit. I'm gonna blame my head cold. I'm gonna blame my head cold for this. Just something in my sinuses is pressing pressing against the part of my brain that would let me be good at frontline. That's it. That's gotta be it. No other explanation. Well, we're at an hour. I'm just gonna see if I can get to the tanks again on this quarter and then maybe call it. I'd like to see if there's a boss or not, but man, it sure doesn't seem worth it. Jerk tank. <laughs> yeah, good times. That's enough. That's enough frontline. I'm sorry. I stink at frontline. I am. I am just not good at it. Not good at it at all. Um, I guess let's look at the leaderboard since we're here. Shame myself early. Okay, someone glitched the scoreboard there. Some of these look legit. Dead last. Hot damn. Dead. Tied for dead last. Okay. I'm tied with STD. <laughs> so, what a delight. Frontline. Like I said, it's a game I remember as a kid, but only because of the, con the control scheme. I do not remember it being stupid hard, but also I was seven. Every game was stupid hard. I don't know. I... I want to be friends with Dr. Wu. Can I send him a, a friend invite? No, I can't. Damn. Anyway. That's uh, that's Frontline for tonight. Um, I wish that had been a better experience. But the hour kind of flew by, so that's always good. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow morning more than likely, maybe around 11 or so. 
Uh, I've got uh, two games to do tomorrow morning or early afternoon, and then I'll do another one at nine o'clock. I think nine o'clock Eastern is a good, like steady. I can do this every day. So kind of depend on that. Come back at nine, but, but check back in tomorrow, like around 11 o'clock or so. Um, and we can crank out some, some games. Uh, Cause there's, you know, there's 10 in this collection and I got to get them all captured so I can make this video and then play more games. So anyway, thank you guys for coming and hanging out and watching me suck ass at Frontline. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun to revisit and realize I don't much care for Frontline. So, um, yeah, uh, nothing much else to say. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Come back around to, to check your check your notifications. 11 o'clock, maybe, maybe noon. I don't know. Around that time. We'll play some more games. See you then.